Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel, Cooking with Lisa. I hope you're all well. Today, I'll be showing you how to make the ultimate pastry dough. Ever since I started making pastry dough this way, I've never went back to making it the old way like I used to. This recipe requires three sticks of cold, unsalted butter. You can also use salted butter, but you will have to omit the salt that is in this recipe. The butter needs to be cold in order for you to get a nice, flaky pastry dough. I find that grating the butter into the flour is so much more easier to mix it in. This recipe requires no shortening at all. That's right guys, this is all butter we're using to make this pastry dough. And plus, some people cannot find shortening where they live, so I wanted to show you that you can make perfect pastry dough without shortening. And also, no water. This recipe also requires milk, and I'm using full fat milk. Ever since I started using milk to make my pastry dough, I've never went back to using water. Milk gives the dough so much more flavor than just using water. The milk has to be cold in order for your pastry to be flaky as well. Or if you choose to use water, it has to be cold too. You might need to use more milk or less milk depending on the brand of flour you're using. Once you've brought the pastry dough together, divide it into two to three equal parts. Flatten it like this so it will be easier for you to roll out once you're ready to do so. Wrap it in some cling wrap, put it in your fridge to rest for about 30 minutes if you're going to use it on the same day. If you're going to use it at a later time, you can freeze the dough and once you're ready to use it, you can bring it to room temperature. There are so many delicious pastries you can make with this dough and the taste will be absolutely delicious. So I hope you guys will give it a try and if you do, Please leave a comment below this video to let me know how it turned out and so others could have a ton for you as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be linking some of my recipes that you can make with this dough at the end of this video so you can check it out. Have a blessed day. Please continue to stay safe and remember that Jesus loves you. Bye!